everyone, my name is Jeanette, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do something a little bit different. Um, it is summer, obviously, and I wanted to do sort of my beachy boho look that I love during the summertime. Actually, I love it all the time, um, but in the summertime I call it my beachy boho look. In the wintertime I call it, I kind of put waves in my hair. But um, a couple things first, I have the window open because it is super hot here today and so if you hear cars go by, I do apologize. Now, I went ahead and washed and shampooed my hair like I normally do and it's been about 30 minutes. I don't have any makeup on, I just put my moisturizer on, I'm using the Clarins Ginseng uh, Deep Moisturizing Cream or something like that. It's a little pot like this, orange with a white lid. Then we get down to the do. So, when I get out of the shower, I make sure that I brush through all of my hair. Now, I was a hairstylist for quite a few years when I lived in Las Vegas. One of the things that I saw people do that drove me out of my mind and made me cringe, and I mean, this is like, you know, a butt pucker, okay, is watching someone take a brush on their wet hair and just start ragging through their hair. Please, you guys, don't do that. Now. My hair is, I'm half Asian, I'm half Thai. My hair is, obviously, I got the Asian part of the hair in my jeans. So, my hair, as you can see, is highlighted with bleach. I have to be super, super gentle with my hair. So, what I always do, and I suggest whether you are, it doesn't matter what kind of hair you have, be gentle, especially when it's wet. It's a lot more fragile than you think. But I go ahead and comb through my hair, and it's like I said, it's been about 30 minutes since I've gotten out of the shower, so my hair, in some places, because it is bleached, it has started to dry in certain areas. The more fragile your hair is, the more it's going to start to dry on its own, which is actually not a bad thing. You can, ideally, just let your hair air dry completely. Once I'm out of the shower, I always put sort of a heat protectant or leave-in or some sort of an emollient conditioner in my hair. Today I used this, I, I purchased this in Spain, it's not available in the United States, but you know what it essentially is? It's argon, jojoba, and keratin oil. And it comes in like a little cream, well I'll put a little bit on my finger, I don't want to waste it, but it's just like this cream. And I do one pump, which is about the size of a pea, and I rub it between my fingers really well, even between these fingers. And I always concentrate around the face first, and on my ends. I have oily hair oily scalp, so I don't like to do too much on the scalp, but I always start in the front and on my ends and kind of work it up. Because this hair down here is the oldest hair on your head. It's also, right around your face, the hair that is the most damaged and the most fragile. Because it's the part that we touch, it's the part that when we put our hair back in a ponytail, it's stretching. It's the part where when you wear sunglasses, you know, when you pull your sunglasses off and if they're the kind that have a little nose thing, they rip out your hair, which has happened to me, so don't do that, you guys, either. Be gentle with your hair for crying out loud. If you don't have something like this, I do have the L'Oreal Elsieve Total Repair, and this is, actual, this is actually a conditioner you use in the shower, but I will take a small dollop, like the size of a, a little bit bigger than a pea, rub that the same way and do the same thing through my hair and leave it in. The next thing that I like to prep my hair with, and this is for the styling benefits, is a mousse. Any mousse will do. I am using the L'Oreal Professional Hollywood Waves by Technicart Spiral Queen Mousse, but use whatever mousse that you have. That's My hair is thick and mousse works well even on thin hair, but you want to give something to your hair that has some grab, so it will help when you come to the curling. So, I am going to flip my head over, blow dry all of my hair out. Once my hair is dried, I'll be right back and I will show you what it looks like and how we achieve the boho beachy hair wave look. Okay, here it is in all its lion mane gloriousness. This is my hair when I just blow dry it crazy crazy. Not a pretty sight. So basically, for the boho look, you put a headband on, you walk out the door. That's it. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. So now, what I do is I gently, starting at the ends, because my hair is kind of knotted. Now, I have long hair. I divide my hair down the middle in the back so that I can work with both sides. 
So I just grab a handful and I want to sort of brush out any knots that I have in there from blow drying. It's not in perfect condition. I do trim it, um, but I don't really... Uh, I, I let it air dry as much as possible. I did this for the sake of the video, or if you're in a rush, I, I blow dry it. Normally, I let it just air dry. Okay, so now I've got my curling iron ready to go. It is heating up. It is... I set mine at 400 degrees, 200 degrees Celsius. So it was a normal clip curling iron, but I had my husband unscrew and take off the clip and the little that little wedge that rests to rest it on. So I have just a towel here, cotton towel, that I'm resting it on and hopefully I won't burn the house down. So I like to divide my hair depending on where you like your part. Um, for the boho look, I kind of like it down the middle because that is sort of the, tr the traditional. But I don't like that perfect part, but I also don't like that zigzag part either. I just kind of let it go where it wants to go, which is there and just follow that line straight down the back. Then what I like to do is just above the ear, I take my finger, I have the bunch in my hair, take my finger and I run it all the way to that center back. I find that working in smaller sections lets you control it a little bit more. The boho look is not a perfect hair look. I mean, it, you don't have to be perfect with it, but you want, if you have a lot of hair especially, you want it to be manageable. So you want to work in manageable sections. I'm a wuss. I've already burned the living hell out of myself, so I am going to use um, a, an ironing glove, which somehow managed to get covered with fuzzles and hair. I don't know why they made it black. For this look, now obviously they have curling irons that already co already come just in a barrel. This is a one and one quarter inch barrel. And that's my first section. And I usually take a section about like this. But what I like to do is go ahead and wrap it around the barrel like so. I'll do a couple pieces and then we'll fast forward or cut to the pertinent parts. There you go and I, you leave it. For God's sake, don't touch it. When you touch your hair when it's hot, just throw it to the back. But that's the curl. It's a kind of a curl here, one, one curl and then a wave. Just throw it to the back, but don't touch it. When you touch your hair when it's hot, you will um, break down the bonds. You know, your hair needs to be cool in order to hold curl the best. So this piece right here is kind of a little bit too big, so I'm actually going to divide that in two, just like that. Also, I already brushed my hair out, but you want to make sure you don't have any knots. But these are all I'm going back. So what I'm doing is getting that curling iron as close to my base as I can. And I'm sort of leaving out this tail. I don't know if you guys can see this much of a tail. Sometimes my hair sort of wraps in a, in a spiral as it goes around the barrel. That is the curl. Like that. Throw it to the back and do not touch. One more. I do here and I kind of roll my curling iron. But you see my hair sort of wraps in a a coil around the barrel. And that's okay. You can also wrap it sort of flat around the barrel, but I find that this gives you a little bit more of a beachy, boho, messy wave. But I always leave a tail out. Like that. So no more of this clippy clippy thing with your curling hair. You can, but you're kind of just kind of doing the same thing as you would when you curl your hair. So for the other side, 
just sort of straight down, but that's okay. It all kind of works out in the end. There's my tail. I throw it to the back. Again, one more time. There's my little tail. I hope you guys can see that okay. It's about an inch and a half tail. You see how this one sort of is like bleh? That's okay. Not all boho beachy waves are the same, but if you want to, you can kind of do this and throw it to the back. So basically, carefully, I'm going to touch and just show you what we have. They are, it's just sort of a wave with like a, it's like a one turn and then the rest of it turns into a wave. And that's what you want. So the mousse is actually giving my hair some grip and some holding power. The next thing you want to do after this, because I think the parting is important just for control. I take a pretty big parting. I take maybe the end of my eyebrow. Do the same thing. That side goes up. And my eyebrow, that side goes up. If you have less hair, you can take a bigger section. Doesn't really matter. So again, I'm curling everything back. You want to make sure that you don't have any knots in the section. That's a pretty big section right there. But I'm going to go for it. Again, I'm not, I'm wrapping it around. You see, be right back. You see that? It's barely even one turn. It's more of just waves. So I'm going to give it just a little turn, throw it to the back. Now, some people say that they do every other curl one towards your face. So if you want to do one towards your face, I happen to do the one that's right here by my ear towards my face. So before, my curling iron was behind my hair to go back. This time, since I'm going to go towards my face, I'm putting the curling iron towards my face. And I'm going to wrap, turn the barrel a little bit to get that really tight at the root. And I'm going to wrap it towards my face. Anything that's right against my face, profiling my face, I like to do away from my face. I'm not counting how many seconds I and I don't I can't touch my hair to feel it, so I just sort of whatever. You see? There's that curl, that turn, and the rest just is sort of an undulation. Leave it. This is the last one I will show on on video here before um, I cut it so that in this, this is sort of strange. Leaving that tail out again, I will sort of do this. I don't like the one near my face to be super curly, so I actually sort of draw it down and let it go. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the other side. I'll do a little bit of the top with you, and you basically, so I'm done with that next section that I had showed you, and I'm left with these two top sections. I usually bring those two top sections together like this. And since I like a little bit of lift right here, my head sort of goes, <laughs> um, I take sections now horizontally straight across my head. And I did, they're not perfect. You see that? Take all of this. Clip that. Since I like that fullness right there, I will sometimes take my brush and not crazy. But I will, one, two, three, four, a little bit of cushion in there at the root. A little bit of back combing. Same thing here, this didn't quite get it. One, two, three, four. Keeping low and just one, two, three, four, like that. Same thing. Twist. Leaving out a tail. This tail is a little bit longer and that's okay. Because sometimes, you know, if you wrap it up around one more time, it's going to be too short. For some reason, the boho look is just nailed by that undone end. It's perfectly coiled and curled like the rest. It just looks like a regular curling iron curl. Nothing special. It's that straight end at the bottom that makes it boho-ish. I don't understand why. Plus, obviously, the cur the, cur the, the wave of it rather than the curl of it. 
Now do you see it's just not, it's totally not. There's that one wave, and then the rest, one curl, excuse me, and the rest of it is a wave. And I'm just going to sort of throw that to the back, or to the side. Here's that other chunk. And I'm going to divide that in half now. There is that cushioned back combing area right there. If you really want to give it more lift, pull your hair forward more. It's called over direction. And then curl it back to its base. And this is just going to go straight down. There's my tail. So again, I'm pulling my hair forward, wrapping it. There's my tail, inch and a half or so. And I just sort of let that sit there. That one's done. Where, don't I have another piece here? Am I done? Really? Okay. Cool. So again, not farting with it too much. Okay, we don't, don't want to do that. Just leave it. Oh wait. Is that my? No, I already curled that. See how sort of limp that is? That's okay. I still have this piece that's going to fall over the top of it. Again, and I only do this horizontal parting. That's sort of a thin piece. Do you see? Because it will give me a slightly more um, defined curl because it's so thin. You want to take, you know, vary your, your pieces, your sections when you take them. They don't have to be all exactly the same. It makes it look a little bit better, actually. They're not all exactly the same. So again, I'm taking this piece and I'm going to do a... I'm not going to lift my brush all the way up here and turn it back home. I want to keep the cushioning just here. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit smaller. I mean, a, a, few, a few more... Um, a few more of those than normal, but that's okay. It was a thinner piece. See how just sort of bleh that is? It's actually perfect. Like that. The great thing about this too is it really brings out, if you have highlights in your hair, it really brings them out. Woo! It is hot. Okay, so I am about here on my head. Where would we say? About the back of my ear, if I were to draw a line exactly, it would probably be right about, there's my ear, right about there. So I'm going to go back and just sort of casually divide it down the middle. I could actually go back one more. I think I'm going to do one more right here that's going back, just because I like that. Again, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to take that whole chunk. It's a pretty big chunk, but that's okay. There's my tail. Leave that. If it falls, it falls. No big deal. So now we're left with the two face framing sections. And by par consequence, the most fragile pieces as well. As you can see, I've just sort of done a half-assed, you know, down the middle part. My hair wants to flip that way, so we'll let it flip that way. I don't care. Whatever. So here are the two face framing pieces. Dividing that in half. Brushing it out because, like I said, this is the most fragile and it could have frizzed while we were manipulating it and wrapping up in clips. Wrapping away from my face. My tail is super long. I like that around my face. If you want to, you can sort of loosen the tens tension and pull that. But I like the long, straight pieces to be around my face. I love, do you see how that doesn't really do much at the end? That's perfect. Here's the piece, the money piece, as we say, the face framing piece. 
instead of doing that straight back, I'm going to drop it down to the side just a little bit. And there's my tail, super long. I don't like it to be super, super uh, curly by my face. Perfect, just like that. See how the tail is super long and straight? There's that piece that we last did. Push that to the back. And continue doing the same on the other side. Okay, so basically I am done. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your hair, you leave it set, don't touch it. If it's hot at all, just let your hair cool down. But basically, you're left at this stage with this. And you want to go ahead and check your hair in the mirror, in the bathroom, or wherever, um, and make sure that you don't have any straight pieces. But it's very, um, it's too put together, well, in my opinion, it's too put together for me at this point. Um, you can leave it like this if you want. It's certainly not an ugly look or anything like that. But let it cool completely before you start doing anything else to it. I actually posted a photo of myself on Instagram wearing the High Key Minis, the new Key Australia um, minis that came out on um, the collaboration with Desi Perkins. And I had my hair done like this and I had some friends say, hey, uh, can you like show you that beachy hair wave? So this is it. So once my hair is cooled, pretty much, I take... I bought this because I don't have a lot of choices where I live. Um, it's just a hair wax, a, a hair pomade. But um, it's like a waxy white pomade. And I take a little bit on my fingers just like this. It's sort of a waxy. It's not stringy. It's a pomade, true waxy pomade. And I run that through a little bit more. I run that through just my fingertips in between my fingers. Use your hands because they are the great tools. And I start going through the bottom of my hair and again divide it in half just so that it's easier to work with. And I start at the bottom of my hair and I sort of take the little pieces and I sort of twist them. These are the pieces that were sticking out straight at the bottom. And I sort of touch on those a little bit and twist them so that they sort of stick together in a way. And it also, if you have any frizz because you didn't curl that part of your hair, it will break that frizz down and kind of tame it down a little bit. Just sort of keeps that, the wave at its base from coming undone. If you have layers, you're going to want to go up, like there's a layer, it will sort of roll that in between my fingers and then take a little tiny bit more I mean I don't know if you guys can see that's not very much it's just a couple rolls through my finger rubbing it against my between my hands and it's getting really warm because I'm rubbing so fast I go ahead and start taking these curls and sort of separating them out each not each individually, but like the ones around my face. I take them, any, any that I can really see, any that are too perfectly put together, and I just sort of take them apart and scrunch with that pomade. So right here is a good example. This is the piece that was sort of right here. I want to break that piece in half. Here, you don't want anything too perfect, if you know what I mean. This, and you don't have to do this. If you like it the way that it is, leave it. But I like to break mine up a little bit and then just run that pomade. And what it does is it brings back some shine and it gives it some separation, some definition, and not really, I guess maybe a little bit of hold but not too much. I can't see myself in the mirror. Okay, not too much. Okay, so up here, we've got, sort of done the whole um, back to combing thing. I just sort of take that area and just sort of work 
and piece it out. I'm going to turn around. I don't know what you're going to see. I don't even know what I'm doing because I can't see myself. But I'll turn around a little bit and take a little bit of more of the pomade. This is the back. And I have poofed it up here. I'm just going to sort of take the pomade and just sort of squish it in with the hair. It's very waxy pomade. It's not jelly-like or anything. I'm just sort of breaking up, starting at my roots, going in with my fingers at my roots, and messing it up a little bit. And what that does is it keeps the fullness at the roots and doesn't really, I don't really want to break up too much of that wave because if you want, especially if you want it to last a couple days. So hopefully that looks normal to you guys. I can't see. Normally I would do this in the mirror. But that's the back. And that is the front. And you can, like I said, break these up a little bit if you want. You can go like this, and it sort of makes them messy. Pieces them out. Or you can leave them more bunched together. You can give yourself a good little spritz of a um, light hold. Light hold, in my opinion, is the best. A light hold hairspray. Broken up and not perfect. It's perfectly imperfect. And I always do like to give my right here along my hairline. I go like this and I give that a spray and I just sort of lift it like this a little bit so that it's not totally in my face. And another great product, if you're someone that struggles with lift here, which sometimes I really do, um, especially like second day hair or whatever, this is a great product. It's by Schwarzkopf. It's got to be, and it's the powerful. And basically what you do is, I'll go ahead and do it even though I don't like to. This stuff is powerful, okay? But if you want to keep that bump there, actually I'm not going to do it on the bump. I'm going to do it like in here because this is where my hair normally goes flat the next day because I'm sleeping on it. Divide your hair and I get oil most oily here and I'm going to just drop a little bit of powder. It's like a shaker. And I'm going to leave it for a second and just go like this. Not like this. <laughs> keep, it, keep it tight to your roots. Just like that. Flip your hair back and it will actually give you some lift and some grab and some like dirtiness, I guess you could say, in your hair and sort of keep it tousled looking. And that is a great, great product. I'll go ahead and do it on this side because I don't want two sides of my hair looking different. You don't need much of this. I mean, I've got thick hair and I don't, I use barely any because it's pretty, it's pretty strong. I could only imagine on someone who has thin hair what this would do. And I just sort of mess it up and flip it back. But basically, that is all you need to do to get that sort of beachy, bohemian look. Um, obviously, when you get in the water at the beach, your hair is going to fall apart. It's not going to look like this. This is something that you would do if you have a beach party to go to and you don't plan on getting in the water. Or if you have like a, you know, like a barbecue or something by the beach or a pool party would be fun. Um, something like that. Uh, but this is basically what your hair would sort of look like. It was full of seawater, algae, and fish turds. But we did it with store-bought products. Isn't that nice? I hope you guys enjoyed this very short or maybe kind of long tutorial on how to get this bohemian beachy wave look. So stay tuned for my channel for more summertime looks, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe to my channel, and hope to see you back. Thanks.